Welcome back. Uh, well, let's get talking about the technicals of the market. Jay Tucker joins in now to tell us uh, what his strategy is on, at the start of the week on a weekday such as today. Jay, hi. Welcome to the show. Uh, so what are your stocks as well as your technical calls on the Nifty as well as maybe the mid caps? Hi. Uh, no, uh, good afternoon to you. And as far as the index is concerned, I would say that Nifty has bounced back quite well from its lows, almost 150 points now. And I think this bounce back can continue the levels of 17,200, 250 on the upside, uh, the, the index have bounced back from its almost 200 demo as well as from quite an oversold territory. I would say the BCR has fallen to almost 0.5, and we have seen the net long uh, has also come down below 20, and uh, that's the, the the level wherein from where you get the decent bounce back. So the overall trend can be negative going forward, but the Short term bounce cannot be ruled out till the levels of 17 to 50 on Nifty. And as far as Bank Nifty is concerned, we can see those, that bounce come till the levels of 39,200. The first buy recommendation uh, from my side would be on Sun Pharma, uh, you know, from the defense space. Uh, Sun Pharma has seen a good long build up since past couple of trading sessions now. The um, momentum indicators, technically, both on the daily as well as weekly charts, have come well into the buy mode. The stock has provided a breakout from a falling channel and the stock is likely to move towards the levels of 940 45 these will be is too uh, short uh, this will be his imme immediate target on the upside on the downside i believe that 905 is a very crucial support for the stock and that can be a stop loss uh, so the my first buy recommendation here would be on a Sun Pharma, and second buy recommendation is on Merico. Now we have seen that you know consumption stocks have also done quite well, and uh, Merico has fallen today by almost one one and a half percent. But then this dip should be utilized as a buying opportunity. I believe that the way the momentum indicators have also reversed here from sell to buy, and we have recently seen a breakout on this stock from the range of 545 30 to 500 points. So you know there's a 40 points uh, breakout on the upside which can help this stock to move towards the levels of 570, 580 zone. On the downside, one can place the stop loss at 520. So there is a, a decent uh, risk to reward, reward on the long side here as well. So uh, Marico and Sun Pharma can be bought at the current market levels. And I think that Nifty can also bounce back, Nifty and Bank Nifty both. All right, got that. Thanks a lot for that. I just wanted to mention that a lot of IT stocks are now hitting fresh 52-week lows, so don't lose sight of that. As we speak, Wipro, Infosys and TCS are all at fresh 52-week lows. In fact, Wipro has now lost 45% of its value this year. Of course, the stock has, is bouncing back a bit, but it's hit a fresh low and then bounced back. Infosys as well is now down almost 30% for the year, so not looking good for the IT stocks at all. Um, underperforming the market in a big way. Perhaps the green on the screen today is just, you know, disguising the fall a bit, but it's been a really, really rough ride uh, for the IT name. That's correct, you know, and uh, you spoke about bouncing back uh, from the lows. Actually, the market itself has bounced back quite a bit from the lows. In fact, mm. Or from the 200-day moving average, the Nifty is up almost 140 odd points. The Nifty Bank as well has pulled back to, uh, pulled back a good, uh, uh, you know, 100 odd points, 200 points from the 50-day moving average. So there has been a bit of a bounce back. We've seen a wee bit of recovery on uh, Dow futures from the lows as well. But the question is whether it sustains or not and uh, what happens in the second half. What we'll do is take a short break from uh, not just the show, but also the equity markets. Come back on the other side. We have Manisha Gupta with Jonathan Barrett 